Hey, this is Andrew at Alder Creek Kayak and Canoe, and we're doing a boat repair today. Um, sometimes things break. A uh, good reminder to tell your partners when they're transporting your boats to tie them down before they drive away. Uh, so today, we have this well-loved Eddie Line Sandpiper missing a little bit of boat. And we've definitely seen worse than this. this customer even found most of the spare pieces um, to fill that in. So to fix this boat, first, we're gonna have to drill out the ends of the cracks to keep those from running, get everything to line up again. Um, and then we'll channel out along the cracks for some extra adhesive. As far as structure on the inside, we'll use this sweet product, a bullseye quick patch, uh, UV cures, we'll get that on the inside and then we'll, we can backfill the outside and shape it and even get it polished up um, with methacrylate uh, and acrylic adhesive. All right, so some stuff that you're gonna want to get started. First is our uh, methacrylate, our plastic welder by Devcon. Uh, it's just a MMA 300. It comes in a variety of colors. This one uh, is white, so it's gonna show up just like this boat. There are a lot of creams and some grays out there. You can add pigment to those. Kind of depends on if you're gonna see it or not, um, but you're gonna want some of this stuff. You can go ahead and with these big tubes, Get this fun uh, dispenser with the mixer nozzles, or uh, there are a lot of just self-plunged depressors that you can mix up on some cardboard. Here we've got our 1 16th drill bit to make a tiny little hole so that those cracks don't propagate. And to channel them out, um, this little triangular paint scraper, uh, but you can get a little creative with that. Dremel tools work just fine. And then uh, to keep ourselves all protected always, I wear where we're scraping and grinding. Uh, some gloves for using the methacrylate, and if you're not operating in a well-ventilated area, a west respirator might be a very smart idea as well, um, as this stuff is a touch on the stinky side. Okay, so we've gone through and drilled all our holes at the ends of all the cracks. And we got a couple. Take your time to make sure that you get everything. It'd be a real shame for pressure on the boat, loading, paddling, um, to miss one of those and have something run outside your repair. So next, we will use our paint scraper and start just working down these cracks. And we're essentially gonna create a little beveled recess that will help uh, let more of that methacrylate, that DevCon stuff, the plastic welder fill in and have more contact to be a stronger repair. So we'll go along and clean all of this up. Okay, so we've got our cracks routed out and the little puzzle work to find our spare pieces. Always a surprise to actually have parts of the boat to put back together. I darn near say this one's gonna be almost easy. So now we'll flip it over. Uh, I use a scraper here on the outside to scrape some asphalt off of the boat. We'll clean that with acetone before or um, even rubbing alcohol before we methacrylate this. We'll flip the boat right side up. Uh, we'll sand on the inside and clean that as well before applying our quick patch and our structure. And we'll just use some uh, masking tape to hold these in place. Okay, so I've got our spare pieces put into place and suddenly this is a relatively intact boat, um, minus the light we can see through it. Uh, so we're going to apply our quick patch. Now, to make this curve, while this stuff is pretty squishy and you can mold it, I'm going to have to pleat it right at that corner so I can fold over the bottom two pieces so that those will overlap. And then, because we're inside, I could either take this outside, we'll use this sweet little UV flashlight to get this thing to cure, and then we can backfill it with our methacrylate adhesive so we're getting close all right so we got a quick patch applied you can see that here and it's now going to hold on to these extra little bits that we found here's what it looks like from the inside not a hundred percent smooth i got one little bubble there on the left side that folded over that i uh wasn't able to catch, but that's all stuck down and solid. So we'll let this cure, pop the UV light in here, and then we'll come back with our methacrylate and finish this puppy off. Okay, so we got our quick patch in there and cured, and so you can see 
we got some structure back in there. I got two of the three pieces to stick. This one didn't stay in. That's okay, we don't need it. We're gonna backfill that with our methacrylate next. Um, so whip this up. Now, if you don't have the fancy gun and the nozzle that mixes itself, that's fine. Uh, in the past, I've just uh, gooshed some of the stuff out on a piece of cardboard, mix it up with a popsicle stick, and then use that to apply. Um, so right now, we'll work on filling this all in, or at least round one, get all of our cracks and little bits, and fill in the bigger recesses and pockets. Okay, so with the mixer, I'm going to go ahead, get my gun kind of primed, and get the first bit out because I want to make sure that it's all properly mixed. Great. Now we can take it to the boat. And I'm going to fill in a big thing because I want to use both hands to steadily run a bead, but we'll slowly start just filling this in a little bit at a time. There we go. Okay, so there's kind of round one. When it starts to tack up and set, which doesn't take very long, you can grab a razor and scrape off a little bit of the excess and kind of get it shaped up a little bit nicer, but we'll have to Sand this down and then fill in some more methacrylate to start sculpting our shape. But it is no longer a kayak with a hole in it. We're getting there. Okay, so we got our first round of methacrylate on there. Filled most of our spots, kind of roughed it out uh, to get the shape back using a rasp and some 80 grit sandpaper. And now we'll just keep building the shape up and uh, our kayak sculpture will soon be complete okay and we're done so uh, we sanded started with an 80 grit um, to reduce a lot of the extra material and use an aggressive rasp if you don't know what that is it's one of these things uh, aka big old file um, started with 80 grit I did sheet lightly and uh if you got a dremel this little 80 grit flap disc was awesome uh just be careful about not eating up into the boat um and then dry sanded through 220 and then wet sand 400 through 1500 and then hit it with a little bit of polishing compound too just to buff it out um unfortunately i don't have the time to spend another week making this boat prettier and prettier but it went from a sinker to a floater and as long as the paddle keeps this side of the boat in the water nobody will know and then on to the next boat always something broken um if you got questions uh, leave them in the comments or any other repairs that you're curious in seeing we'll see if i can't whip up some more of these but um happy paddling we'll see ya